All right, we're gonna show you how to make a simple to head or tails um, coin toss program with uh, JavaScript only, pure JavaScript, and it'll just work right away with your browser. So, what we're out for to do, we're gonna make this HTML. Bam, bam. Um, let's call this coin toss. I just call it head or tails. Or tails. We're gonna do some HTML. Uh, we're gonna create a button. Uh, we're gonna give it unclick. Let's call this my function. And every time they click, this button is be head or tails. And we're gonna spit out with this paragraph down here. And we give it an ID of uh, coin. Okay. And Next, we're gonna create a script. So this will be the JavaScript. You can put in a separate um, file to clean things up, but I really don't care. First, we're gonna create a function. Function. Um, so it's my function. So like that. Um, next, we're gonna look up math random. Function. Great. Tab it, tab it, tab it. Make it look nice. This one goes to that one. Okay. And we're gonna create a variable, and store it. It'll be var num equals to this. It's gonna be head or tail, so it's gonna have two options, maybe one or two. And next we're gonna create a switch statement. So that and then gonna have num in here. So right now Okay, right now we're just gonna go. Let's try it out right now. Document right. No. Right now it's just really like a random numbers are gonna spit out, so it's gonna cause num. So it's gonna be like one or two. So we're gonna save this somewhere. Um, our guy is made, so let's save this. Call this YouTube folder. YouTube folder. Let's call this coin toss. Okay. And we're gonna open the browser. And it's working. Oh, I forgot one thing. Uh, I forgot to do. That makes it disappear. We don't want that. We want we want to grab the element. So it's gonna be document get element by ID. The ID is right here. See this? We're gonna use coin. Coin. And what we're gonna do is inner HTML and Let's spit out num. Control S. And that's it. See one or two. Alright, it's very it's very punch done. So how are we make it say heads or tails? We're basically gonna create a switch statement. Switch. I think the same thing as before. Except this is not PHP. It's similar to my previous tutorial. And we're gonna create a case, one case. And then we're gonna give it an answer heads. We're gonna break it. Semicolon. Be very careful about that. Copy, paste. So 
toggle them really quick. Two, and then we're gonna call this tails. And we're gonna change the value to answer. Control S and see how this looks. What's this? See? Heads or tails. It has a fifty percent fifty percent chance of a coin flip. Okay. It's, it's very similar to a Magic 8 Ball app, except this is all JavaScript. You can just re modify this. So we're gonna also create Magic 8 Ball again, but this time with all HTML. So if you bear with me. So we're going to change this around. We'll call this demo. And we'll give it 6. It's the same stuff. So we're going to call this yes. No. You guys, you can have as many as you want. But I'm having five, so it skips. So it goes through one, two, three, four, five. Because it's one through six, it excludes six because you're using a math floor around it. So this is how this function works. Uh, math random. Um, I'm going to console log. So. Oh, we're gonna do math random right here. Sorry. Oops. See? That's what it does. You can't have that. So we're gonna do math. Floor math random. Let's see what this does. See, so does that. And then we're gonna do one plus one. No, it doesn't work that way. So basically we're going to multiply this and then add 1 Okay, I really don't know how this works, but I just know this this function does that. It's easier than it's easier to treat just random. So I just ran it's basically um, I created this function two arguments min max right here. So the maximum number is Oh, I get it now. So I put in 6, 6 minus 1, that's 5, 5, and then minus 1, so I'll be 4, and in between 4 it's going to do, now it's going to pick a random number in this, so it's going to be like 5, 1, 2, 3, it's going to pick a random number. Plus the minimum again, so it'll be five. So we round number into me five, and then it's gonna get rounded into a whole number to lowest. So we can look at the documentation. Which floor? See, it rounds, rounds down. Other map around. See, this this is a float. Large rounds. Round ten. Fetch x. This is a text. Yeah, I just look at documentation and look at the script and then see what it's doing and just try it. 
All right, let's let's make five more cases and then stop being dumb. Um, uh, okay. Create three, maybe. See, I made it all to JavaScript, so he can. I'll just have this under my YouTube video, and you can download it, and it should be working right away, like without having a PHP server, because this is a service, because this is um client side. The browser's already built in and with JavaScript interpreter, so you're all good. Easy. Five. So, JavaScript's very powerful. Some guys like, hey, you can do this in all JavaScript. I'm like, eh, fine. Oops. Delete this. Why is this guy? Let's ask it. Does this girl like me? Keep this like that. No, she doesn't like me. Drat! Let's try this again. Hazy. Maybe. Yes. Outlook not so good. See? Not your ball. Yeah, so basically, I'm leaving this script out. I'm not a very good front end web designer. If, if so, I'll just like create a circle, put this in the middle, and we'll just try that. Make it do. Div. Class eight ball. I don't want that to get touched. Let's do this. Um, no, it's just, oh, it's style. Let's try to make a eight ball style. That's not right. Style. Uh, let's call this eight ball border radius twenty five pixels as one hundred percent. Big circle. Percent, and then let's make the Height 800 pixels. This is not responsive. With 800 pixels. Let's make the color. Let's see the color of the text. White. Should work. Maybe in class. Good style. Good working. Ball, a ball. That's working. Start with a div tag. Change ID or something. the ball there you go all 
I want this in the middle, though. Hmm. Line. Uh, let's see what let's do. Ah, uh, close enough. Getting closer to Magic 8 Ball. Uh, it's gonna take me some time. Center everything in there. That's the number. I'm sure so we can't use um numbers in front of classes apparently. No, that doesn't work. Let's just Let's try position up the Apparently I'm terrible at CSS. Oh, I'm becoming a dev. No, that does not work. Center container for position. Did that work? No, it did not work. Hmm. I don't need to... Let's call this one... Center... And then we'll create a new one. Uh, apparently I'm terrible at CSS today. I don't know what's going on. Top. Oh, there we go. How about one in the middle? Uh, 400. Uh, a little more. Higher. I should like that. Let's see. Let's draw. Um, I have to draw with JavaScript. 
Uh, so yeah, you can draw things with JavaScript. It's called Canvas. I don't want to do it, I'm lazy. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, Try this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. All right, I'm work on the arrow thing later. But yeah, I'm trying to draw an arrow in the middle. I think I probably gotta do is. CSS. Uh, get this arrow thing. Uh, I'll just make a black. I'll just make a circle. Also make a circle. And background color. Oh, this height red. Not this. This is not. Hundred, two hundred, or something like that. That's not centered. And right. No, I think I gave some padding. Padding, right? No, that does not work. How does it go here? Moving. 
Let's try to make a float. Does not work. Oh. No, it needs padding. On the right, which I'm not doing. Why? 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 All right, I'm gonna retake my CSS course and uh, reevaluate my uh, CSS skills because I'm terrible. Apparently, I'm a better JavaScript programmer now. And yeah, I'm done with this. Apparently this on this line. It's not bigger. So yeah, um, this is all the selling I got for now. If I call it head or tail, I'll call it eight ball. Magic eight ball. I'll fix this when I get time. So I'm, I'm gonna put like an eight up here, I guess. And put a little over the triangle. So yeah, I probably gotta draw draw the JavaScript, the canvas. I don't want to. I just want to do it by CSS. So yeah, this is my magic eight ball in JavaScript and just plain HTML. And I hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Sorry for being stumbling and falling, but 